Randy's Random. You know what time it is? Red. Getting it. Getting it. Yeah. Getting freaky with it. That new shit. That new, new, new York shit. Yeah. Freak those muffins. Yeah, yeah. Squash, Dr. Squash. Oh, Dr. Squatch. Oh, I can't wait. I know there's a whole bunch of you people that can't wait too, but there's a few of you haters wondering why can't I have the bag with the Christmas trees and the Dr. Squatch symbol on it with the Dr. Squatch bars of invigorating soap. Too bad for you, people. I'm sorry, but we're going to get to it. Stay tuned. Yeah, so, uh, everybody, we're going to be doing a uh, review here on um, something that some of you guys may have heard of. If you haven't, then, oh, well, but it's Dr. Squatch. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to be taking a bath with this stuff, and I'm going to tell you just exactly how fresh it makes you feel and how fresh it makes you smell. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, the package came in today. Oh, yeah. Look at this. This is Dr. Squatch's. What do you know about this right here? Huh? Came in the mail today. I've been waiting for a couple of days, but listen, oh, man. You can actually smell it right through the package. Dr. Squatch's. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys are ready, because it's time, time for some Dr. Squatches. Oh, we've been waiting. We've been all waiting. We've all been waiting for this moment right here. That's right, because you know Randy. Oh, man. Dr. Squatch. He's got that little... Look at his face and the pipe in his mouth. The icon, the symbolism of his death. Dr. Squatch is imitators. I try to imitate it. You imitate it. You want the doctor. You have to jump over the top rope, slam it all the wall inside of your dome. Oh, yeah, inside of the dome. Just get ready for your mind to be blown. I have a feeling that we're not going to be happy. You pay all of this money for everything and then they show you it's not what you think, it's just the cream rising to the top. But we're gonna see exactly what Dr. Squatch, Mr. Squatch is talking about over here. I don't know anything else, but all I know is if I'm not happy, if I'm not happy, nobody's gonna be happy. Nobody! And I mean, nobody's gonna be happy. Just understand, Dr. Squatch. I'm gonna have to do a whole nother review. A whole nother one. That's right. And with that review, it's gonna be like a Twix. Maybe a Kit Kat. Snippy Snap. Oh, yeah. And you know, the Twix. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, what a Christmas gift that is right there. See the Christmas pine trees, you know, that pine forest that old Sasquatchy doctor came from out of, yeah, you little freak. But we're gonna be showing you just how special this soap really is. Everybody wants to know, everybody's all interested, and I want to know. Look at it, what else we got here? Check out what else we got here in the mail. Check it out. You remember these? Did you see these UFO spinners? You haven't seen these UFO spinners yet. They spin fly in the air like little hovercrafts. They're wonderful, but we're going to get back to the Dr. Squatches. Yeah, but these right here, these are the things right here. Little UFO spinners. They're real compact and fun for all of the people. Let me get all inside of this little bathtub. 
We're gonna get all bubbly and overwhelmed with all of the bubbles. Nothing's gonna be wasted around here. Just one bar. Just one bar. Not any change. Not a little bit of change. Nothing. Nothing will be wasted. You see this change right here? Nothing will be wasted. Oh no, now you tell me which bar of soap you'd like me to get all frivolly with. Let me know which one you want to see all the froth all over my body. Tell me which one you want old Randy to smell like today. Because when I walk into the store, they better be ready. All the women better be ready to smell something that just came out of the forest water on them. The forest! Fresh like a monkey in the tree. Fresh like something. Now, if you're smart, you gotta use your brain sometimes. You can't just be all brawn. An old brain. All brawn and no brain, I mean. I don't know where my brain's going, but I know I've got the brawn here. But check it out. Just to play it safe, you got these big old bars that they send you. Does it mean you have to use the whole thing? Not the whole thing all of the time. You don't gotta use that. You don't have to do it. Just remember this. Take you a little knife. Get a little butter knife. Get you a little nice little knife and start chopping away at it. You see that? Look. Now you can put the rest of your soup back in the box. Put it back inside the box. That's right, all inside of the box. Put it back in. And then you take a little piece of soap. See, I'm giving you a little tutorial, giving you good ideas. You get nothing but great ideas from Randy. Understand me. Oh, yeah. Throw that back in there like that. And now, it's back to Dr. Squatch. It's back to Dr. Squatch. And back to the shower that I've been waiting for. I got you all waiting. That's right. Cause you're gonna wait. Why wouldn't you wait? You have no choice, especially when you're with Randy. Anything I say goes, I'll pick this tux back up and don't make me tell you what I'm gonna do with it. Don't make me tell you what I'm gonna do with this Twix right here. You don't even wanna know. I don't think you want it. I don't think you want Randy to tell you what gonna happen to the Oh wow, this is nice. This is real nice. This man was lying about this stuff. Oh man. Hey guys, this, this stuff is really good right here. This soap right here. You guys need to try it. Oh my goodness. It, it's working. It, it, it's really working. Oh, oh my goodness. Hey there, this stuff is really working. This soap, it, it's, it's working. It, oh man, it's all up in here, just right there. You get it all up in here like that, just like that, all up in the stuff in there. You got, you got all of this stuff all up in the stuff, right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's working. Oh yeah, it's working. I never thought of it. I, I, I never think that, it, that soap would be working like this. Never had any soap work for me like that. Oh man. Look at this. Touch my toes. Touch my toes. Oh man. Hey kid, you gotta try some of this. Oh my. Oh lord. Oh my lord. Oh, what? It's working, guys. It's wonderful. Oh, yeah, it's working. Yeah, it's working, yeah, it's working. Oh, you're gonna love this. Oh, you're gonna love it. Oh, you are going to just... You are going to just love, love, Love this year. Oh man, you're gonna love it. You 
never seen any show work like this. It's working. Can you see it? Can, 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 you, can, you, can, you, can you smell that? Do you under-smell it? Huh? You under-hear me? Hey, Diddy, you under-hear that? You, you under-smell me? All right, then. I just want you guys to know. You guys, you, you will know. Oh, yeah, you're gonna know. Oh, oh man. This is wonderful. Oh, this is great. Oh, yeah, just as soon as this stuff stops working right here, yeah, oh, yeah, get it, get it, get it, right up in there, right there, just like that, oh, yeah, get it, right up, all up in there, oh, yeah, that's right, right all up in this stuff, oh, yeah, you got the stuff right all up inside of the stuff right there, oh, yeah, you got that there, all right, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, all right, well, here's my review. It's not a bad one. I didn't think that I would have too many good things to say. Honestly. But with that said, Dr. Squatch, my review for Dr. Squatch. Let me tell you what my review is here for Dr. Squatch. I'm sorry, Randy's gone, okay? Randy, he left took a shower he had a couple of uh, matches that he had to attend to but um Dr. Squatch the soap is definitely different um you use Dial, Ivory Johnson and Johnson's you use Dove uh I don't know, hand soap, maybe you use Dawn and wash up with dish detergent. I don't know, but uh, this soap is definitely different. It smells good. Um, I'm not too sure about how long the smell stays with you yet. I don't have anybody here to tell me yet and sniff all over me and tell me exactly how I smell right now. I don't know, I just feel like anyone could take advantage of me right now and me one. Let's see what the forearms have to say. I should have probably waited so we could get that and knock that out the way too. But uh I I can't I can still smell the smell. And the other thing is that I thought that I was I had a feeling that when I washed with it, I was gonna smell like this real minty, hard type forest pine smell, like pine soil that, <laughs> that doesn't go away. Like, you know, I thought that it would be, or having it, a real offensive smell once I got done washing, but it's not. It's light and it, it's strong and it's light at the same time. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but it um it definitely lingers and the smell it's a pleasant it, it they're pleasant smells they they're all different smells every single name brand has its own smell its own unique i don't want to say flavor but smell to yeah, it. i think they say that the pine tar the pine tar exfoliates the skin Oh yeah, just like charcoal, it brings out all the impurities. Everybody knows that it's a secret. It's a secret. They try to keep away from everybody, but I know. I know all of them. Secrets have got my ears on the wall, arms, legs, and ears all on the wall. You know anything about cold moss? Do you ever smell that? It smells wonderful. Fantabulous. Yeah, we're gonna get these little bars right here all inside of the bathroom and get all bubbly. We're gonna get all bubbly and filthy with the bubbles. Who's this? What do you want? What are you talking about? They're texting and calling. I think they know that we got. Um, the feeling of the soap on your skin. Me, I'm very in tune to myself. So, like, most soaps 
compared to these kinds of soaps, they feel heavy. Some people may not notice things like that, but they, it feels heavy on your skin. These, I'm assuming that they're oil-based, right? So when you uh, when you wash with it, you literally feel the soap just slide off of you. Like it doesn't stick to you, you know, like oil. Like it, it the oil must help whatever uh, they use for the additives to make the soap. It helps it just slide off your skin. It feels good. You feel nice after the shower. You don't feel like your skin is clogged or your pores are clogged. I've heard people say things about the uh, the size of the bar, the weight of the bar is five ounces. You said it's five ounces and I'm going to weigh it and it's 4.9. You know? It's false advertisement. You, you're robbing us. I don't really care about that. Like... Like right now, I could smell all of these different uh, scents and flavors. I'm, I'm, I don't want to say flavors. Flavors remind me of eating stuff. We're not eating these bars. But even through the package, and I got to show you guys the packaging because, like I said, I could just take any soap. There's, there's other soaps out there that, that look like this and that are advertised as such or, you know, not necessarily copying Dr. Squatch. Like, there's been soaps out way before this. But um, I got to show you that, you know, that it's really Dr. Squatch, you know? It's not original dishwasher fluid that cuts grease. But, see, the other thing is that You've got these other soaps and other soaps that compete and compare and they're just alike and this and that. Like you could go to different stores, like even probably Walgreens got different kinds of bars of soap. Um, um, those home stores, home goods and um, maybe like kitchen and baths or whatever. I, I, I forgot the names. They've even changed names, but... Those kind of stores, Century 21, you know, all of that. Like, you could find soap just like this there. Some places will be cheaper. You could go to a supermarket. I went and bought one, a bar that is similar to these at a supermarket the other day just to try it. And it's cheaper. It was like $4. But the soap, I could tell you right now, it's not, the scent doesn't, it's not, as pleasant as these, as Dr. Squatch, it's not as strong or it's not as subtle and it doesn't stick with you like this. So now people, now people, let's see one last time. The package before it gets opened, the package that we've all been waiting for in the mail and it finally came yesterday but I didn't have time to do what I wanted to do yesterday but now today you can see the sun see the sun rays and see the sun rise to the top check it out oh yeah you see it sun rays through the blinds and what do we have here? A little bit of Dr. Squatch ready to get a little bit of Squatch going on. Oh, yeah. We're going to do it, Dr. Squatch. Let's get this thing open right here. Let's do it open. Let's get it all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, And like I was saying, when I first got this bag, it was sealed. Right? Sealed tight. Airtight or almost airtight, I smelt these bars through the bag. Smelt great. I'm sure the uh, post lady, yeah, she knew what was going on. She knew what was going on. Yeah. She 
might have went and bought her man something. She probably wanted to come and, you know, guard my body. But nah, but nah, she wanted to smell the brother. I'm, I'm sure she smelled that stuff. She was like, oh my goodness. Somebody's going to be smelling this for a while. So I guess the last thing that I'll say about Dr. Squatch is that if you don't have the resources or money, time, patience, whatever it is, I wouldn't suggest anything. Like I'm, and especially buying stuff over the internet, but I mean, I didn't have a problem getting my stuff with Dr. Squatch. I believe that they, uh, have tracking and everything for you over here. Um, but the thing is that the, these this stuff is perfect for gifts. Like, I don't think anybody would not like this as a gift. Like, I don't think you could present this to somebody and then they get it and they're just like, ah, uh, eh, thanks. Like, it did, it's, you can't deny, I can't deny that, but n not everybody's going to want to pay $7 for a bar of soap, you know, but, and I can't, I don't know, I don't, I, I can't vouch for the consumer and I can't va vouch for, for the seller. I can't exactly vouch for them because. One thing is that when people start doing good in business, all of a sudden they start jacking up their prices. So I don't really want to sit here and blow this soap up like it's like, oh man, this soap is the best soap in the world. It's good soap. I can't deny it. But like I said, not everybody is going to want to pay $7 for a bar of soap. Not everybody has $7 to pay for a bar of soap, you know? Like, if this soap was the the same price as any other bar of soap, it would kick soap's ass without a doubt. <laughs> it's, you know, I, I would choose this over any soap, probably. But, like I said, I... Paying, you know, that much money for soap every, t uh, you know, every time you want to buy soap, you know, it could be, uh, it could get pricey, definitely. And then the other thing is that oil-based soap, like, you know, you wash with this a couple of times and you uh, especially get, if you get, uh, you, you overdo yourself because soap like this, it smells good, it feels good, so... You may take a nice long shower and just keep on rubbing it on you. And by the time you're done, like the first time you use it, you done used half of your bar of soap. I believe that that's with all oil-based soaps. So with that said, I don't have anything bad to say about Dr. Squatch soap. I thought that I would. I really did. I was pretty positive and sure that it, like, you know, the hype is just like, yeah, it's hype. But there's a little bit of added hype to it. There has to be. All advertisement. All advertising, advertisements, they all have a hype to them, you know? Your McDonald's, your Burger King, you guys don't even know yet that when you're watching them commercials, they done painted the hamburger, spray painted it, got little plastic pieces on the hamburgers and shit. <laughs> For real. You're not even like using regular oil. They're using car oil. Stuff like that. But gifts, um, definitely... If you have the resources and the money, I 
I guess I would recommend, you know, I would recommend the soap. Hopefully they do not get ahead of themselves and then start charging people $20 a bar of soap. You will definitely lose your company, lose all your business, and you'll be a thing of the past. So keep your prices the same. They have they they have pretty good deals and sales and stuff. I you know I can't deny that either. But in time we'll see exactly where it goes. You know if they want to start jacking up prices and you know fifty dollars for two bars and two fifty five dollars for two and a half bars of soap. You know. And another thing is you want to wash your hair. Um, you don't necessarily have to buy shampoo, you know, even though one of these bars of soap, you wash your hair with it, that will be the last time you use that one bar of soap. It'll be pretty much all gone, more than likely. But um, I'm pretty sure that this, these bars of soap would be perfect for washing your hair. Like, you know, oil base. Your hair probably won't be dull and snapping off and stuff like that it'll probably be perfect for shampoo also but i'm gonna go now that's my review for dr squatch it's up to you you know i don't have anything bad to say i like the soap it smells good it feels good and uh it's patrick it's packaged nice you know and uh with the price People have to make their money. Like something like this, they, you can't sell something like this for two bucks and, you know, expect to expand your business. So you, you got to understand that too. But uh, I'm out of here. Um, I would definitely recommend trying it, you know. No problem with that. No problem with you, Dr. Squatch. Good job. And uh, I hope my review helped people. Uh, I hope I did it right. I hope you got everything that you needed out of my review. It's a little lengthy, but uh, outside interference here in my moment of glory. Yeah, I know I'm living in a nightmare, and I am the queen in the world. I don't want to be a cut, no heavyweight champion.